Jake Mace with LearnFromJake.com. We're going to dive into some traditional, fundamental Chinese martial arts. But first, you guys have to earn it. And today, we need a little bit of conditioning to earn the traditional martial arts we're going to do in a second. So get on the ground on your knuckles and give me a few push ups. E, R, San, Se, Wu, Leo, Chi, Ba, Jiu. Sure, hold that position, tighten the stomach. Straighten the legs. If you have to go to your knees, that's okay. Ten more. E, R, San, Se, Wu, Leo, Chi, Ba, Jiu. Sure, pop on up on the feet. Give me that horse stance. I need you guys to feel roots that stem from your body into the earth. Hands here for now, straighten the back and kind of sit the weight toward the heels. Hold this until it burns. The training we're gonna do in this video today needs to have a foundation of this horse stance. It needs to have legs that are like mountains or like redwood trees. Hold it, 10 more seconds, knees out, back straight, shoulders down. Good, adjust it to a bow stance. Back leg straight, hands in this position right here. Other side bow stance. Back leg straight, hands in this position. Put the knuckles back to the floor. 10 more push ups. E, R, San, Se, Wu, Leo, Chi, Ba, Jiu. Sure, pop on up. And let's begin today's lesson. Guys, I've taught this lesson to you in the past, but I would bet that only 1% of you watching this video, maybe less than that, actually memorized and learned the lesson. So I'm gonna show it to you again. It's a very important lesson from the Chinese Gong Fu style called Xing Yi Chen. Say that one time, Xing Yi Chen. Xing Yi Chen. I want you guys to have your stance just like this. We're not gonna go into the crazy details right now, just follow me and do as best you can. Hold the hands out in this position. Sink the stance into the earth. Have the back leg bent and the front leg bent. But I would say about 60% of your weight is back. This hand is blocking the wrestler. This hand is creating distance against the striker. And all I want you guys to do is go from here, gather in for momentum, and then launch forward into this stance and punch somebody. Then lift the knee and touch it to the elbow. Step back. Step back a second time and punch with this hand. Now turn from this stance into this stance and punch up underneath, like an uppercut under the jaw. Step forward and cross the hands here in front in a high horse stance. Now I want you to come up and then I want you to sink down pah, to a low stance right here. From that position, I want you to turn to this stance and block out. Then I want you to swing the right leg around on the ball of your foot into like a monkey stance and block down right here. My left hand is pulled into my rib cage. Then I want you to gather, step 45 degrees and punch here into this stance with this hand blocking by the head. Then I want you to shift from this stance into this stance and block in. Then I want you to step back into this stance and pah, shoot that hand out in front. And we end right where we started from. I hope this sequence is easily digestible for you guys. I hope you can watch this a few times, memorize it, and as you get it down more fluidly, put more power with it, but never let it be done fast. Keep it slow, powerful, choppy and dynamic. There will be flow in the choppiness, just like when the waves of the ocean are choppy as hell, flipping the boats over, they're still flowing. Let's do it again. We start in this position, feel the roots of our feet gripping into the earth like a redwood tree. Draw in, punch one, lift, step back, punch two, turn the feet, three, 
come into a high horse, cross. Come up, sink to low horse, hit. Turn this way, block. Go into that monkey stance, block low. Circle 45 degrees, punch this way to this stance. Switch the feet back to here. Step back to the original position, shoot that left hand forward, the right hand settles back low. Let me do it one time coming at you guys face on and one time face away. Then we're gonna talk about a couple of things before the video ends, so stick with me till the end. In Zhongguo Kung Fu, in Chinese Kung Fu, there are three main families of what we call the Nei Dan or the internal martial arts styles. Of course, Tai Chi is one of them, and the Bagua Zhang is one of them, and Xing Yi Quan, we did in this video, is the third one. Each of the internal styles give you different benefits. So when you're doing the Tai Chi Quan, you're getting the ability to be soft and to receive energy from everything around you, people, the environment, yourself, being able to be in touch with your surroundings by receiving energy from yourself and your surroundings. The Bagua Zhang allows your mind to be in many places at once and allows you to see the angles. So in fighting, it allows you to be very good at angular techniques, at being very creative with your attacks. But in life, the Bagua Zhang allows you to kind of think about whatever the situation is you're dealing with from unorthodox angles of attack. Very powerful skill to have. The Xing Yi Quan we did today allows you to find the shortest distance between two points. It allows you to cut through the bullshit. It allows you to see life very black and white, very hot and cold, very male, female, very wet and dry. Very simple. And in the fighting, it's gonna give you the most efficient way to destroy somebody very quick. So when you feel that you're too scatterbrained, you need the Xing Yi Chen. When you feel that your mind is in too many places at once, you need the Xing Yi Chen. And when you feel that you're a little too passive and you're too nice and you want a little bit more of that brutal, unfiltered honesty in your fighting and in life, you practice your Xing Yi Chen. Hit like down below, hit the bell button down below, check out my social media. You can support me making more videos like this by going to my Patreon page down below, and I'll see you guys back here for the next video.